V B N The Rich Video Blog Network Home to Weekly NFL Predictions Great Personality Profiles About Sports Stars Professional Wrestlers Actors Actresses And Television Personalities Sports Video Blogs Professional Wrestling Video Blogs Entertainment Video Blogs And a whole lot more A collection of my work going back to June of 2014's on Facebook on YouTube, RVBN, Bellica, Massachusetts. Good morning, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus. This is Rich again, back for your first video below the day for Saturday, December 17, 2016, around 7.56 in the morning, Bellica, Massachusetts. About 21 degrees out right now. Light snow, going to snow in the morning hours. Could be up to five inches, so allow plenty of extra time where you're going today, and try to avoid travel until the until the roads get cleared. Tomorrow's supposed to be 55, and Monday 23. New England weather. Wait one minute, and it will change. Some news to report on the RVB and news. Why do 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 do? The Boston Celtics beat the Charlotte Hornets by a score of 96. 88 last night. Also, the college football bowl season starts today. And that's about it on the news from the RVBN News. Why do 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 be back in one minute. I'm back. My first video blog subject of the day is about former professional wrestler Perry Saturn. Perry Saturn was a, a pro wrestler for about 20 years. He was famous for being in the tag team The Eliminators with John Cronus and they won several ECW World Tag Team Championships. Plus Perry had a career in WCW and the WWE. Perry was born and he grew up in Cleveland, Ohio. His real name is Perry Saturn Olu. And he is of Italian descent. He went into the United States Army when he was a teenager, served four years for our country. Then he went to school, but he got interested in, in the pro wrestling game. He was trained by WWE Hall of Famer Walter Kiro Kowalski at Kiro Kowalski's wrestling school that was in Malden, Massachusetts. He made his professional wrestling debut in 1990 under the name of the Iron Horseman. Eventually, he he got the name Perry Saturn. He wrestled for Kiro Kowalski's IWF for a few years. Also, he wrestled for the USWA. He even teamed with the future Triple H, who wrestled as Terrorizing. And during um, Perry's gigs outside of wrestling, he was actually a manager of a nightclub. One of the bouncers' names was George Castillo, and George wanted to be a professional wrestler. So Perry recommended him to Kiro Kowalski, and then when George was ready for a professional wrestling career. He became John Cronus and he teamed with Perry Saturn and they were the Eliminators. They teamed in the USWA a couple of times. They became USWA World Tag Team Champions. Also wrestled in the IWF, Karol Kowalski's Wrestling Federation and a few independents. They had briefly a tryout in the WWE in 1994 but they were too green. Then they teamed in ECW for the, for, from 1995 through 1997. Um, the Eliminators, Saturn, and Cronin were a dominating tag team, winning many ECW World Tag Team Championships, feuding with the teams like the Gangsta, Sabu and Rob Van Dam, the Booze Brothers, the Small Gangsta Party, and the Dudley Boys. Their famous move was Total Elimination! Joey Styles would always would say that it was a double kick would knock out the opponent but backstage Cronus and Saturn did not really get along Saturn accused Cronus of not being dedicated to the wrestling game in 
May of 1997, Perry Sadden suffered a serious knee injury, a torn ACL. He needed knee surgery. He was supposed to be on the shelf for several months, but in August of 1997, Perry signed a big money deal with WCW, and he wrestled a few dark matches in September of 1997. Against facing off against Billy Kidman, Saturn made his television debut in November of 1997, and he beat the Disco Inferno for the television championship. His fi his uh, his finishing maneuver was the wins of Saturn, a submission armbar. He was part of Raven's flock with with Raven as the leader. He what he um he like lost to um, Disco Inferno a few weeks later, but um, Saturn was one of Raven Stooge. It was a big group that included Kidman, Lodi, Sick Boy, um, Scotty Rex, Stevie Richards, Reese, and a couple of others. And Saturn feuded with a lot of people, including Glacier and Ernest the Cat Miller and Bill Goldberg. But eventually, um, the storyline was building up with like Saturn getting getting tired of Raven, and they had a match at at like Fall Brawl 1998. If the, if like Raven won, um, Saturn would have to be his slave. But if Saturn won, the whole flock would be released. And Saturn won that match between beating Raven. And But the Raven Saturn feud continued for several more months. Eventually, there was a match between Raven and Perry Saturn. If Perry, Perry Saturn lost, he would have to wear a dress, like a skirt, and Raven beat him. And Perry Saturn had to wear a dress for 30 days, but eventually he got to love the dress so much that he kept it on and he reunited with Raven and he actually formed the tag team and became WCW World Tag Team Champions a couple of times. Eventually Perry Saturn joined um, Revolution, a new faction with Shane Douglas and Dean Malenko and Chris Benoit and it was a De decent faction. Eventually, the revolution turned heel on Chris Benoit. But backstage, um, a couple of the bookers on WCW said that Perry Saturn would not get to be a major player in WCW. And Perry Saturn and Eddie Guerrero and Dean Malenko and Chris Benoit saw the writing on the wall. Then they left WCW in January of 2000 and joined the WWE as the Radicals. And their faction was pretty, pretty good. Like, Perry Saturn would would be was kind of like the fourth wheel in that faction. He didn't get too much of a push. He got like a mid card heel push, but he wasn't, you know, a top player. And he would feud with like Too Cool and Rikishi and other other superstars. In two thousand and one, when the Radicals broke up during a match on on Jack. And metal, um, Perry Saturn at beat up on a preliminary wrestler called Mike Bell, and he was kind of punished for that. The punishment was he got a stick, a mop, which he called Moppy, and he got a valet, which was Terry Reynolds, and he feuded with, with Raven again, and that feud went nowhere. Eventually, Perry Saturn. Um, dropped the moppy gimmick and uh, the rest of the time he was with the WWE he was subject to like preliminary matches. In April of 2002 Perry suffered a serious knee injury again. WWE gave him the, his walking papers. Future endeavored him. And then for a few years after that 2002 to 2004 um, Perry worked for Noob Japan for a while and then T 
TNA, even re reuniting with a few ECW wrestlers, the Sandman, and Just Incredible, and New Jack to form our, our ECW type faction, TNA, in 2004, due to serious injuries, Perry hanged it up, hanged his wrestling tights up. And uh, also around that time, Perry Saturn got shot while he was saving a lady, and he, and afterwards, he, after that shot, he recovered, but he, he got addicted to prescription drugs, and two and a half years, Perry Saturn was homeless. Very, not good for somebody who was a person on television in the WWE or WCW, but he cleaned up his act. And he went back to independent work in the 2010 wrestling for a few groups and going back to Japan. But Perry suffers from like a lot of head trauma. And in November of 2016, Perry Saturn filed a lawsuit against the WWE. He was added to that lawsuit with like over 50 wrestlers suing the WWE for head trauma head injuries, concussion syndrome, and when Perry did that, he kissed his chances of going into the WWE Hall of Fame, but Perry Saturn's career wasn't that Hall of Fame worthy, so he wasn't going to probably never be inducted anyway, but with this, he just, he blew his chances, and that's about it on Perry Saturn. I'll be back later. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus. Two more video blogs coming your way. First video blog will be about um, if my take if like the still the PD users in baseball will get into the Baseball Hall of Fame now that that Bud Sealy, who was the commissioner of Major League Baseball during the steroids era, is now in. And the third and final video blog tonight will be about. 2017 predictions and television. Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Budden guy. Molly was blood. WCC Rocks and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hutz so stunning. She's the best. Amy Sweezy's awesome, awesome. Amy. Then the Church of WPIX Channel 11 New York. Such rocking cougars. Got the best legs in New York City. Bar none. Baba Gibbs of ABC 11 has a sweet southern accent and got the best legs in Raleigh and North Carolina and Michelle Beadle of ESPN Sports Nation is so funny and she's got nice legs by now.